hello everyone welcome to part 10 of laravel 9 series in which we are going to create the multi vendor e-commerce website so in this video we are going to do laravel validation for our login form for admin login form okay so uh, see we have completed the login form and we able to log in we able to log out in the last video we have seen uh, that we able to log in into the admin panel uh, with correct username and password uh, see here okay and we able to log out as well okay so now it's the time to add the laravel validations that is the server side validation so first of all i'm going to tell you uh, that there are two types of validation okay so uh, there are two types of validation this is the basic question uh, that can be asked by anyone okay two types of validation always there is the two types of validations one is the client side client side validation okay and another one is the server side server side validation i hope uh, my rating is not that much good i hope that you able to understand server side validation okay so see client side validation like js uh, jquery js okay all these are the client side validation okay and the server side like php laravel all these provide the server side validation so server side validation is more secure okay uh, as far as the security is concerned server side validation is more secure see we are going to check from the php itself uh, so it, it it is much secure than the client side and client side we can say it is more user friendly it is uh, it is like uh, we can check e at the real time as well but if the browser is not supporting uh, the js or something uh, if the browser is not supporting the scripting then it will not work sometime or you can easily uh, hacked by the spammers also okay so server side is more secure so uh, in this uh, one we are going to use the laravel validation server side that is the server side validation okay so we are going to use the server side validation for our this video but we are going to use every type of validations in this laravel 9 tutorial we are going to use the laravel validation okay and after that we are going to use the jquery validation okay and we are going to use the bootstrap validation so we will try to use all types of validation uh, and we'll look into it okay so uh, let's start implementing this uh, that uh, laravel validation so i'm going to open the laravel validation and uh, we are going to open the laravel 9 validation here I'm going to open this uh, website and here see laravel 9 okay and these are the validation that we are going to integrate so first thing is uh, they told about the validation that i have told you already so we have the routes although already we have the routes okay after that we have the controller as well and uh, writing the validation logic so uh, see here uh, we have the form ready we will open our files admin controller and uh, see we have the login uh, form that admin login we're going to open that login.blade.php file okay so this is our form so what i will do i will use the type type as test to check the validation to uh, check the laravel validation i will use type as test and will remove the required from here because i want to add the laravel validation to check the laravel validation i will remove this for the timing this html5 validation i will remove but later on i am going to add okay so here uh, see uh, this is the uh, validation code uh, so i am going to copy this code and will put here in post here i am going to put and we'll update see there are two fields one with the name email and one with the name password we are going to add both here email as well as password 
so one simple thing is required like we are using the html5 required here okay so the same thing we can do in at the server side so this is the difference like this is the uh, client side validation okay so that can be easily override by the user so you can override it like uh, uh, you can simply uh, inspect element and you can simply modify the validation uh, by inspecting it by removing from here from the source code from the client side because it is the client side okay but server side you can't do anything so that is the difference practically if we will talk about okay so uh, so these are the html5 validations are the client side validation so we are moving these uh, and uh, try to adding the server side laravel validation so here uh, we are going uh, required is the basic validation that the fields are required and after that uh, we are going to use uh, that email email is the uh, email uh, is the keyword okay uh, for checking that whether the post data is email or not and we can check these uh, rules or we can say uh, yeah available validation rules see these are the set of rules in which I think email is also there uh, we can check see email is also there okay so these are the set of rules uh, we need to take care uh, we need to check one by one and we can apply these rules as per our own requirement okay so Laravel provides most of the rules here uh, so we can try uh, as per our own requirement here we require the email rule so we have added email okay so we want the maximum length of the email must be 255 we don't want more than 255 character of email so we have written here max so we have the email we have the password okay so now we can try it once uh, that it will work or not so if i will write something like this one and we'll try to sign in uh, okay we need to display the validation as well so we have not displayed so far so we will check here displaying the validation error okay so we can simply copy this code they have provided uh, us the if file condition and the for each loop in which uh, they are going to uh, output the error message we can simply display it here okay like this now we are going to check here i am going to refresh and we'll see will first click on sign in and here you can see email field is required and password field is required that is coming fine okay you can see it is coming fine here okay both the uh, uh, fields we have we have left uh, empty and so that's why they are asking uh, this validation is asking to fill both email and password okay so now i am i will do some incorrect email uh, then it will say email must be a valid email address so it is working fine so like this we can add laravel validations and it is just very simple and easy and you can see here this validator validator is the variable in which we are just simply checking request validates request is the data that that poster data that is coming in our function in login function okay we straight away check the poster data and uh, try to validate that and validate is the function that is the built-in function of laravel that is going to validate uh, the poster data so in the poster data we have checked email and password in array okay both email and password and for both email and password we have applied some of the rules like required email maximum length and password for password only the required rule okay so we are just displaying the custom messages that are available in laravel for every rule but we can add our own own custom messages these are the default messages that uh, the laravel uh, give us with every rule but we can apply our custom message as well and uh, for applying the custom message uh, there is some change we need to do with our code and for that uh, see uh, we will replace this one see we will make it dollar rules equal to and 
like we are going to make it in array like this okay and after that we are going to add one more array for custom messages custom message so that we can add our own custom message for every rule so that uh, we can display there to the user so sometimes the client asks us to display the custom message so this thing is useful at that time so we can write like this add custom message here so first one for email uh, email column for required for required we can give like email is required okay we can write like this and for email for valid email okay so we will write here valid email is required and for password we will write password is required okay so for validating these uh, rules now we need to validate in the same way like we are doing earlier validate function we are going to use but this time we are going to uh, return these we are going to pass these uh, variables like dollar request will come then dollar rules will come and after that uh, dollar custom message will come up here okay so now we are going to check that these rules are working fine or not and first sign in see email is required password is required this is we have done here okay so for like we can give it like email address is required valid email address is required okay password is required so now see now it will come email address is required okay so these are the set of rules we can add our own custom rules if we want to add okay so it is very simple okay we can add our custom rules our custom messages here like this and uh, we can display uh, with uh, the errors with uh, it automatically comes here as errors and in for each loops we can display all the errors uh, that is coming with all the rules okay in loop uh, so this is the way we can display the error message uh, we can uh, try like if we can able to use this one uh, for each uh, if we will copy this one and display somewhere here i want to check that whether it is possible to show the error messages here so this one we can cut from here and we can add it here now we are going to check here this one we can move let's see refresh sign in now see we have the close as well okay so uh, we have displayed uh, in a better way with the close button uh, that we are using earlier as well okay for the other validations okay uh, that we have done in last video other validation that we are showing in this div and we have used the same div uh, for 
uh, our uh, larval variation as well okay you can also try to do like this so now it looks even better okay so now if we will try see it is working fine if i will give the wrong email id so that is also saying valid email is required okay so now we will put back the html5 validation as well okay so we have both uh, uh, html5 as well as the uh, laravel validation serve both client and server to make it more secure so type we will use as email and here we are going to use the required field okay required and required for th this field as well fine so now see it is much secure now you can't even give here the wrong email id okay you need to put the right email id and password to log in into the dashboard okay so like this so you can try this one at your end and i hope that uh, you able to add these uh, laravel variations at your end and more variations we are going to do very soon uh, but uh, now uh, in the next video we will start working on the chain password functionality these basic uh, these basic things we require uh, because uh, for every admin panel uh, these basic things are mandatory and we require chain password we require to update the admin details as well and after that we will come to the vendor uh, vendor admin okay so what uh, features we require for the vendor in admin so uh, that we will do along with the products categories and other uh, that uh, we require in our multi vendor e-commerce website okay uh, so there are few lines i want to say for uh, my indian friends or for our asian pakistan bangladesh and other friends who know hindi and urdu who wants me to add uh, uh, videos uh, in hindi and urdu so for them i want to say that i am going to add videos in hindi and urdu as well uh, for uh, the, uh, for our multi vendor e-commerce website तो आप लोग बस वेट करो थोड़े दिन और एंड हम वीडियोस बनाएंगे हिंदी के अंदर तो मैं आपको ये सारी डिटेल्स सारी वीडियोस हिंदी के अंदर आपको समझाऊंगा कोई भी आपको इशू होगा तो प्लीज आप मुझे कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं सो दिस लाइंस आर फॉर दोस यूजर्स हु वांट्स मी टू मेक दी वीडियोस इन हिंदी एंड उर्दू एज वेल ओके so don't uh, get impatient i will uh, i will spare time uh, and will add the videos in hindi and urdu as well okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye